Welcome. In front of me is a Xiaomi 12 Lite and today I'll show you how you can bypass the Google verification on this phone. So for this uh, we will need one thing which is a SIM card with a pin on it. Now you don't need to know the pin, it just needs to have one. Now if you have a SIM card without it, just use it, put it into another device, set it up in the settings and then you can use it here. So that's one. And one more thing that we need actually is just internet connection. So progress through the setup till you get to the Wi-Fi connection page. Actually, before I do, I'm just gonna quickly mention you can see that the phone is locked right here and I can unlock it using pattern or using Google account. The typical stuff. Anyway, so now I'm gonna back out. So connect to network, as you can see, I have already done so. And from there, we're gonna insert our SIM card. As you can see, the device brings us the uh, lock screen right here with the pin. And once you see this, just pop it out. This will lock the device, which is fine. From here, just swipe down like this. Click on the bell icon. Come on. There we go. For some reason I was missing it even though I was pressing directly on it, but whatever. So once you open this up, the notifications and control center, you want to select app notifications, scroll all the way down to YouTube, additional settings in the app, then select about and help. And in the help search bar, you want to type in delete. Now the second option is the one that we're looking for, delete, disable, or uh, and manage, whatever. So we're gonna select it. And from here, we're gonna select the first step, which is tap to go to application settings, tap on more, and select show system. Now once you see the system applications, we're looking for Android setup right over here. So just click on it. I'm going to put on the case just so the phone doesn't wobble all that much. There we go. Okay, much better. So uh, from an Android setup, you want to select just four stop. Okay, then go back. Scroll down to Google Play Services. There we go, Google Play Services, and select Disable, which will close this off, I believe. Oh, no, never mind. And then you want to select For Stop. Now, if it closes out this page, just go back to Google Play Services and continue by pressing then For Stop. And we're going to go back. And from here, we want to scroll down even lower to Settings. Now, you will see two different setting applications. You want to start off with uh, or open up the first one, the one uh, higher, so this one. And you'll see that there is an open option. And the other one, lower one, uh, does not have open option, so that's not the one. Anyway, select open. Scroll down to additional settings, accessibility, accessibility menu, and toggle it on, allow. I'm going to select OK. And we're almost done. So from here, you want to hold the power key, select reboot, double tap on it, and this will just restart the device and bring us back to the setup screen. Now, I did say that we're almost done, which that's kind of a lie, to be honest. Uh, we will need to finish up the setup from here. And once we have finished it, we will then need to perform a factory reset of the device. So I'll guide you still on through that once I once the phone actually boots up. So there we go. As you can see, I am still connected. So I'll just go to the next page. Now 
Now I'll mention that at this moment you just want to go through the setup by selecting whatever is the quickest. It really doesn't matter what you choose, we still need to, like I said before, factory reset the device which will just make your choices be redundant right now. I'm gonna select don't copy. And we should be on this page right now checking for updates, which means we should be stuck on here. The reason for that is because we have turned off Google Play services right now. The device is trying to connect to Google Play services to check if the device is locked or not, but it can't because the services itself is disabled. So what we need to do now is click on this accessibility mini, select Google Assistant, then tap on the settings. I'm gonna need to repeat that several times. Now keep on repeating what I'm doing till you manage to enable it. Well, oh, actually I already did it uh, with the last press, which closed it off anyway. Now once it's enabled, um, you can go back once. Make sure you don't go back too far. Uh, if you would press pass, pass the checking for update page, it will then give you the, uh, again, you will if you already enable it and you go back back further than the uh, checking for updates and then proceed again through it, it will then connect to play services and give you again the lock screen. If you just back out to the checking for updates page, it will check for updates, get confused and go to the next page without needing to verify anything. So right now we should be able to finish up the setup. Now, like I mentioned before, just go through it by skipping everything that you can. Okay, so once we have access to our home screen, navigate to settings. From here, select about phone. And in here, you'll find factory reset. Click on it then select erase all data, factory reset. And after the 20 seconds, 10 on here and 10 on the next one, you can confirm this process, which will factory reset our device, which is just a bunch of nothingness. If you ever done factory reset, it's just a bunch of black screen. And once it's completed, we are then presented with Android setup. But at that point, you can set up your device however you want. I'm not gonna go over this. I'm just gonna kind of get you to the last step. So press on the OK button. And once you press on the OK, the process is finished. The device will then be fully unlocked. Now, the reason I'm not going through it is because this is fairly automatic. Once you press on the OK, it just goes through it automatically. And from there, you can set up your device however you want. So the setup will be already fully unlocked, so you can go through it and set up your passwords, your accounts and all that stuff. So it's completely up to you what you want to do there. But you do want to factory reset it right now. Anyway, with this being said, if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.